Hey everybody! In this quick video I want to demonstrate you my method of quickly creating a cartoon character topology. My method is very simple and pretty much consists of only the operation extrude, but it is applied intelligently in such a way that it allows you to create a cartoon character like this very quickly. As you can see it has pretty complex and interesting topology and yet it is done very simply and rapidly. For example, it took me about 20 minutes to create this guy. So here we go. You begin with a box that was subdivided one time. Then you smooth its surface to create our head and begin extruding the bottom four polygons to create a neck. You continue extruding this stuff further to create the our, uh, the top of our torso and then you need to select these four polygons to extrude our shoulders. Once you have the shoulders you continue extruding the body downwards to create the basic shape of our body. After that you will need to add one edge loop uh, going through these polygons like so. This creates space between legs and allows us to continue extruding our legs uh, from these four polygons. So we extrude our legs and uh, of course with every extrude we just uh, adjust positions of vertices to create our knees and lower legs over here. At this point you extrude these polygons two more times and then extrude them forward to create our feet. So this will eventually be these four polygons which we have extruded forward like so. After that you adjust a little bit our geometry to make it look a little better like so. And here I want to point out that in many cartoons uh, they have uh, small shoulders and uh, wide hips and from the side uh, they are uh, curved shaped. You know they have S shape like so and uh, here I would advise to you to take the po polygons of hips and move them a little bit forward which makes a nice and fluid shape. Also leg, uh, legs uh, by themselves follow S curve. So I think this is something that is useful to point out. Also head is a, uh, leaned a little bit forward and the neck also has this angle. Anyway, once he, we have our body shape, we can take these four polygons and continue extruding them to create our arms. Uh, they will look kind of like so. Again, all of that is just extrude operation, nothing difficult here, just extrude, 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 extrude and adjust our positions uh, for vertices. Uh, starting here we will start creating our hand like so. Uh, this is our basic shape for our palm and then uh, in the next step we select uh, four polygons at the top of the hand and for at the bottom to create some extra geometry that we will later need to uh, to model our fingers. As you can see, see just top and bottom of the hand is extruded outwards like so. And then we select these polygons like so, these, these and these ones uh, in this shape and we extrude them like this. It is a very simple and cool way to create the geometry necessary for creating our fingers. This will be our index finger, this will be a middle finger, this will be our pinky. Uh, as a cartoon character he will have four fingers in total. Next step is to extrude these two polygons to create a base of our thumb. And please note, to continue extruding our thumb we will use these four polygons like so. As you can see we we pick two polygons from the side of our extrusion and two from the top and we extract our extrude our thumb in this direction. Then we continue to grow our fingers so we basically 
select each four of these uh, polygons and just extrude fingers and continue extruding them and adjusting positions of vertices to create our basic arm and uh, then add a few edge loops to create joints. So this is our basic shape of a cartoon arm. Very easily and very quickly created in just a few operations. I really like this idea. Anyway, from here we... Well, yeah, a few adjustments, so it looks like so. And, uh, yeah, I made it a little bigger. Anyway, from here we will continue to model our face. Here it is just a box we have started with, with one subdivision and with one loop uh, that goes through the whole body uh, to this, uh, to over here, which we have created when we were extruding legs. And this loop will be used to create our nose. So the first thing we do is to uh, adjust our shape to make it look more like a head and then we create a shape of our eyes. All we need to do here is to add two edge loops here and here and this will be the place for our eye. From there the cool thing you, is that you only need one operation extrude of this area to create our, our loop around the eyes. This will be our eyebrow brows and this will be just a good topology that is necessary uh, later for animation. The next step is to do the same thing for the mouth. We will just extrude these two polygons to create a basic shape of the mouth. As you can see, immediately in just two steps we have a nice little edge loop around the eyes and a nice edge loop around the mouth. That's pretty cool. The next step after that is to extrude our nose. Here I want to point out that we select these three polygons. Uh, as you can see, two of them belong to the area of our eyes. These two. And this one belongs to the area of our nose. So in the future, as you can see, or to, to the area of our mouth. So if in the future, as you can see, our loop around the mouth uh, will uh, be connected to the nose, like so. Anyway, we extrude these three polygons forward, like this. And then all we need to do is to delete these two polygons and connect these vertices together, like so. Nothing difficult here. And we already have some basic geometry that is pretty neat. From there we adjust our vertices a little bit and we add these edge loops. First edge loop will go through the center of the eye like so over here and then there will be two edge loops these two uh, that will go horizontally through the center of the eye to create an eye slit. Alright, once we have this we uh, again adjust our geometry a little bit and the next step is also pretty cool because all we need to do is to select these polygons for the eye and these polygons for, for the mouth and just extrude them to create our uh, very simple loops around the eye and around the mouth. From there we continue refining our shape and you know adding a few loops here and there, you know, one more loop around the mouth, one the more loop around the eye, so that we have a little bit prettier face. From here I think I just, you know, modified geometry a little bit, you know. Oh, this one more important thing is that later you will need to create a shape of the, ch of the jaw and you will need some place to put an ear in. So what you do is select all the polygons of our face and just extrude them forward like so. So as a result we have this loop of the polygons and these polygons will be our ear and here we have a little bit more defined shape of the jaw. That's pretty nice and neat trick. 
So there you go, this is our basic head topology. As you can see, done 99% just with extrudes. Very simple, very quick. From here we just, you know, adjust a little bit our vertices, adjust our geometry, not a big deal, remove unnecessary polygons, continue modifying stuff and just add uh, here and there, whatever. So there you go. This is how we create our little nice character. I think it looks pretty cool and it was very simple to do. I think that I will upload uh, all of the steps in the description of this, of this video. I hope you will uh, find them useful if you will decide to model, model something like this. Also, you know, let me know if you have found this video useful uh, and, you know, if, if you have any feedback or any advice for me how this can be improved. And well, there you go, here it is.